Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, she didn't need it too bad. We came out here because our neighbor told us that uh, the pier was pretty badly damaged by the last hurricane. Oh my gosh. And it is. It's damn near gone. Oh my gosh, I can't even, yeah, you can't even take out one of them. Yep, pier is gone. Gosh. It would take a whole lot of wood to fix it. A lot of memories on that pier. Just a wheelchair we gave someone by the dumpster. That must have been a piece of crap. These dudes making a homemade pontoon boat with barrels. <laughs> that looks like a piece of the pier. Could almost put it back together with some pieces, I guess, but they're heavy as crap. Oh my gosh! There's a piece. <laughs> Michael! Hurricane! <laughs> There's the oh my gosh! That was like at the end of the pier. Yeah, that was all all the way at the end. Oh my god. Yeah. I doubt that pier is ever gonna be a pier again. It appears that way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I was out here burning stuff all night pretty much. Over here. I bet this thing's still hot. Oh yeah, still super hot. Looks a whole lot better. Definitely cut a lot of freaking branches down. But I was so ready to get out of the tree, I couldn't. I couldn't do any more, so I missed that branch. That branch is killing me right there. It kind of ruins all the work that I did, just that one branch. But uh, that's the next uh, branch I need to get. Them two branches for sure. Maybe even that one. Definitely a few more. And then I got to hit this tree right here. 
cut a bunch of these branches, maybe like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, maybe about twelve of them. And then this one over the house, I gotta get that one, cut this long one that's hanging out right here. So that's the next project or the next uh next ones that I have to cut next time I get up the energy to climb these things again but definitely cleaned all this up last night I was out here late raking and taking loads on the golf cart trailer over to the fire so I got it all all the branches cleaned up and everything last night we just converted their trash into cash right, well, here we go I got my cutie sidekick over here we are ready to go drop off some steel and all kinds of stuff. We didn't unload it to disassemble them and take them apart because, like, the landlord's kind of been on us about the mess. So we've all been tip chipping in and cleaning up our, like, cul-de-sac, our little part of the trailer hood. So there's no way I'm going to unload all this stuff in my yard and take it apart. So we might try to take some apart when we get to the scrap yard to see how long it takes to actually take these things apart and take how them. How much time do we have? I think it matters. I think you can sit in there pretty much as long as you want to unload and stuff. But.
Look. Look. Oh yeah, we decided we are taking them apart. Look at all this aluminum, we're like actually separating from these things, so this might make our payday a little better. A little bit of a pain in the ass. We got more time than money.
separating these uh, this is that plexiglass that we use so much of I mean we put this in we put this in the lanterns that we've uh, repurposed and stuff so it really does come in handy to keep stuff like this because we tend to use it so often for so many different things a couple of them are cracked but the majority of it would be just fine if we were cutting out rectangles for a lantern or whatever we were needing to use it for so I'm I'm saving as many as I can even if they are cracked on the edges there's so much of it that can be reused and repurposed so <sighs> that's, that's the most aluminum we've ever brought to the scrapyard at one time so I'm actually curious to see how much we actually get or aluminum. I mean, I hope it's worth it. That's all I can say. How's the dang workout? Woo! Hustling, boy, hustling. I'm freaking sweating my balls off. I see that. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Let's go weigh this aluminum. How much do you think we're going to get? I don't know. I don't know what to think. I'm looking forward to finding out. I was actually looking at the reviews of this place and it's like people say that this place is really cheap. So I was reading some comments and you know and one person in particular was like, dude, you, you could get you could get almost twice as much money as it if you take it to Virginia. So I'm like, really? So I guess we need to explore or, you know, research and find some scrap yards in Virginia. I think we do have some kind of close by in Virginia. I'm just not sure where. I just knew about this one, so I just come here because it's a nice scenic route too, so. But, uh, we'll see what they give us, and then we might have to compare and go to another spot. We'll see.
Nice. That's definitely the biggest pile of aluminum we have brought here to date. This is exciting. I don't know if I got the number or not, I can't see. How much you think we got, baby? How much you think? Um, 60. For all of it? Yeah. We got $72 for the steel. $72. And $33.50 for the aluminum. So we got like $105. Yeah, that's what climbing trees would do to you. Aww. Hugging trees. Aww. And you'll uh, you'll see why in the next video. Because <laughs> I climbed a tree. Spoiler so, alert. Um. Anyway. Wow, that's really so, awesome. So there's this place called the Border Station. I know we usually go out to eat and celebrate, but this hundred five dollars is literally all the money we have. So there's this place called uh southland is right at the border of virginia and north carolina and uh back when i used to eat pork like way way back my parents would stop here and get pork barbecue and it was really freaking good i mean people everywhere talk about it so i'm gonna go in there and see if they have some chicken barbecue because we don't eat pork so and i haven't eaten pork in years like i, I want to say four or five years now so we're gonna go here and actually see if they have some chicken barbecue instead of pork. So I hope they do. If they don't, then we're gonna have to do something else. But uh, anyway. I just want some tea. Yeah. Uh, scrap life! Southland barbecue. I hope they have some chicken barbecue. Gifts, some games. Candles. Are those candles? What is it? I thought they were at first. What are these? Salt Coconut? scrub. Exfoliating salt scrub. Oh! I thought they were like a, like creamy honey or something. That was interesting for a second. <laughs> Alright, where's the shop part? Oh, you know what? I think we're supposed to go to the other one. Oh, there it is. Pork, 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 <laughs> pork. 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 All right. All right. Well, that hurts my feelings. No chicken. Lady came up and approached me and asked me if I needed help and 
curious while I was recording. So I told her about her show. So then she took me over here and she told me, she asked me if I was local. And I'm like, yeah, I'm in Knott's Island. And she said, well, that's local. And she said, all this section right here, this gift shop, is mostly all locals, uh, handcrafted stuff, a lot of it, she said, like this section over here. So then I started telling her about my boxes and my bird houses. So I was like, well, let me go get my phone and show you some pictures. So, so we'll see what happens. So for us to be able to give them that support and exposure, and that's how this started. Well, yeah. And so when you were saying the high-end candles, I don't know why, but candles did not do well here. No? No. They actually do, well, for, for our YouTube subscribers, they actually do really well because they've gotten to know, like, they've gotten to right. know, like, the quality. And right, right, So, right. I mean, we're doing pretty well with our, with our YouTube channel sales, but we would love to have more local. Oh, There's a what he does. house that has a, a latch and hinges on oh it, so it's gosh. actually a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's see. here's some boxes with lids. Some cedar boxes. And Those the are lid very just nice. Sits right mm -hmm, on mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. um, What's your price point? Uh, I, I would just show you and discuss it with you, maybe, okay. and see what you think. Well, the way this works is you rent the space from us. That's it. We don't take commission on your sales. Um, we don't. This way it works out where we pay the sales tax on all of the purchases made. All the sales made, rather, but um, we don't we don't take commission on any of your sales. So, for example, a space like this, roughly, it's more two by two, which is like the dream cat the cabinets. Um, the floor space on that, with all the fees included, is forty two dollars a month. Really? Yes. So, um, well, so you know. Kind of build my own. Yes, and that's something I definitely recommend. If you okay. have, you know, if you're that creative, but let me show, and because I want you to maximize in your space, right? So obviously wall space is a lot more expensive because I have to charge <laughs> for um, um, height and length of the amount of wall space you take up unless I can do pieces. But uh, so I told her, I said, look, I, I need you. Oh, that's so pretty to do it, to do, to make it you, so that it doesn't look like Others. other yeah. display yeah. and maximize it. So she puts this together and it's a very well put together display. She's able to get, I can't even tell you how much money on the display, she pays $42 for it. The trend that I'm finding with birth houses is that the more whimsical you make it, that's what's selling. They don't even care whether a bird lives it in or not. Mm -hmm. They just want to put it out in their garden, yeah, in their nice. fairy garden, yeah. and you know, make yeah. it so the more whimsical it is. But with bird houses and things like that, it's not about floor space now. It's let's hang you on the rods. Because yeah. Yeah. you know, we're wanting to show people the function of yeah. what it is. Um, if you put a you know, if you put a birdhouse on a, on a shelf, a lot of people just don't have the creative, um, the creativity and imagination so to look to beyond it. Yeah. where it is yeah. to where it should be. Well, or where most of them, I, I make the bottom where it actually fits on a post. So I could just have a post in here with it sitting on it, you know, and then you can take it off of the mm -hmm. post and put, they can put their own post in the ground mm -hmm. and put it on I there. love the idea of having you just pay by the month if it sells it sells if it doesn't but there's like not commission which the commission like kills you sometimes well and that's the other thing that because we want to offer it's not just supporting the local artists it's also <clears throat> because in supporting local artists it's not just like that encouragement and that we have a place for you if they're not making sales they're not gaining the exposure they're not gaining the because one person you know how it is, especially with YouTube, you get one person to say something and then the next thing you know, you've got 20 people from that. It's the word yeah. of mouth. Yeah. Everything in retail, restaurant, customer service is all word of mouth. So um, by us not charging commission, 
we don't then have to, we can pass the savings on to you so that you can pass the savings on so it makes it. Well, that's pretty cool. It looks like I'm gonna be bringing some bird houses to this place. It's pretty awesome. I'm glad she walked up and started talking to us. Yeah. Cause I have this bird house that sits on the stand just sitting in storage no one's ever really seen it so this is going to be perfect to be able to take some bird houses and, and your wooden canisters yeah 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 so this is kind of exciting but we have to have like sixty dollar a uh, sixty dollar deposit and then we have to pay monthly Instead of a percentage like a lot of places like the Wood Wizard where I have my coffee table you know it's like a 30% charge when really you can at this place you can just rent a spot so they don't really charge you a percentage so I'm excited I wonder how they keep track of like, like when somebody brings an item up and buys it like how do they keep track of write it all down I guess they gotta keep up with it so. dang right scrap life woodworker life ready to go dumpster diving